Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The final three episodes of Harry and Meghan's bombshell Netflix docuseries will air this morning with the royal family bracing for fresh accusations of leaked stories. A trailer released by Netflix showed the couple making claims that the palace briefed against the Sussexes to deflect attention from less favorable coverage of other royals. The royal family and palace aides will be bracing themselves for truth bombs in the second installment, released at 8 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. With the firm facing accusations it leaked negative stories as part of a war against Meghan. In early 2020, it was announced the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be moving from the UK to the US, with Buckingham Palace releasing a statement confirming they would be relinquishing their royal duties. Throughout the course of the new documentary series, Meghan and Harry portray a much happier life in the US with their young family, while complaining about the media intrusion they suffered in Britain. But Niall Gardner, a Washington-based foreign policy expert and royal family enthusiast, has warned the couple now face a huge backlash over their vicious attacks against the British monarchy. Claims made in the documentary will face intense scrutiny, with questions raised ahead of the streaming over whether the evidence Miss Afia referred to will be produced in full, which stories they were talking about, and exactly which royals were allegedly being protected. As Meghan spoke, Footage was played of newspaper front pages featuring the headlines Meghan made Kate cry and hair heads about Kate and Meghan's flower dress dispute and the Sussex's use of private planes. In her Oprah Winfrey interview, Meghan said Kate, now the Princess of Wales, made her cry ahead of her wedding at a flower girl dress thing, not the other way round as had been reported, and that everyone in the institution knew that wasn't true, but it was not corrected. Mr. Gardner also warned Meghan and Harry should expect an even a greater backlash in the UK, branding their documentary series a declaration of war against the royal family and an outright attempt at tarnishing the image of the British monarchy. He said the Netflix series will not only be seen as an all-out assault against the monarchy, but it is also a slap in the face to the British people. The royal enthusiast continued. Harry and Meghan's documentary series is a declaration of war against the royal family. They are burning whatever bridges remain with Buckingham Palace. This is an outright attempt at tarnishing the image of the British monarchy. It will result in a furious backlash against Meghan and Harry in the UK. They have no sense of gratitude towards the royal family whatsoever or the British people. The monarchy represents the British people. This Netflix documentary is not only insulting to the royal family, but it is also a slap in the face to the British people as well. In Buckingham Palace, there will be a great deal of unhappiness and sadness in regards to Meghan and Harry. This documentary series will be seen as a monumental betrayal of the royal family and will be viewed as an all-out assault against the British monarchy. One of the bombshell moments later in the series sees Harry say it was terrifying for his brother Prince William to scream and shout at him during showdown talks with the royal family at Sandringham on January 13, 2020 about plans for he and Meghan to move abroad. He also accuses his father, King Charles III, of saying things that just simply weren't true, while claiming his plan to partially exit royal duties was rejected. Harry says in the fifth episode, I went in with the same proposal that we'd already made publicly, but once I got there I was given five options one being all in, no change, five being all out. Meanwhile, the royal family, including Harry's father and brother, will be out in force together on Thursday, putting on a united front as the king, the queen consort, and the Prince of Wales join Kate for her Christmas carol concert in Westminster Abbey. More than 1,800 people will gather in the Abbey for some festive cheer, staged to recognize the selfless efforts of individuals families and communities across the UK, and celebrate and showcase the joy that human connection and togetherness can bring. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.